Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my blind reaction to uh, Infinity Train episodes 6 through 10. Yeah, we're doing the entire second half of this season in one go. And I'll be right up front with the reason. I'm not going to hide, hide it from you here. I'm not going to, like, bullshit you any. There is a very specific reason why. And that is because of what is replacing Infinity Train. Um, because, honestly, I don't want to wait any longer. Um, to be completely fair, and that's... It's nothing against Infinity Train. I love Infinity Train. I've been really loving it. It's fantastic. Um, but at the same time, the show I want to get to, I like more. Personally. So far, at least. Um, the show I want to get to is uh, just something that I really, really want to see where it goes with. And let's be honest, uh... You guys probably already know what it is. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. It's Glitch Techs. Um, so, yeah. Glitch Techs will be replacing Infinity Train um, see with Season 2. Um, and we'll get to that as we get to that. But that is the main reason I want to get through Infinity Train. Um... And again, it has nothing to do with Infinity Train itself. So it's just based on that. <laughs> but uh, going forward from there, uh, so we've started to get little hints at the bigger thing going on with this. Uh, we've seen the conductor, I assume, um, and the creepy little Co the Face Stealer thing. Um, the cat tried to keep Tulip in the memories, but was unsuccessful. And Tulip's kind of, at this point, not given up, but she's choosing to ignore her problems. And I feel like that's going to come back and bite her in the ass. Um, now, I will say one thing. I have heard a spoiler about this, unfortunately. I don't remember if it was said in the comments, if it was said on Discord, or if it was even said on Twitter somewhere, and I just happened to see it. I don't know, so I'm not going to blame anyone specifically, but it, it was something I saw. It's not a major plot spoiler. It doesn't tell me anything specific that's going to happen, except it, I'll just say it outright. I know that every season of this show now focuses on a different character. I know that every season is about a different main character. And that's something I didn't know before. I knew that the... I had seen a little bit of the advertising for the third season, which I believe was just recently released. Um, and I knew that had a, a character I hadn't seen in, in it, in the advertising, but I didn't know that it focused on an entirely new character. And I, I don't know anything about season two at all, so... But yeah, so I didn't know that. And so no matter what, I that is a spoiler. And even, even if I did happen to know that beforehand, that would still technically count as a spoiler. No matter what. Um, but overall, overall, I thought the episode, or I thought the episodes prior to now have been build up, have been like leading up to stuff. With only the last one really, I feel like kicking things off. Um, <laughs> in the words of Rough Senpai, things are about to pop off. <laughs> um, if you don't know who Rough Senpai is, just look up his reaction videos on YouTube. He's awesome. Um, He's also doing some uh, ReZero reactions on uh, Twitch, which I've been watching lately. Um, and he's really into it, and I'm loving it. Uh, I I'm not fully caught up with his uh, 
reactions on that yet, but it's also getting me uh, ready for when I do react to season two of ReZero, which is happening. I already said that before, and I plan on sticking to that. <laughs> so that's going to that's be fun. Uh, and it's good to get caught up because it's been a long time since I had watched the series before this. Um, but anyway, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, but things are definitely about to, like I said, as Rough Senpai puts it, pop off. Things are about to get crazy. We're about to really get into the meats of this story, I feel. And, and it makes sense. We are now in the second half of the season, the second half of this story. And so it's like, it, it's the right time to really get into it. And now that I know that Tulip is apparently going to get off the train by the end of this season, well, that takes away some of the excitement, but also it adds in a new interesting layer, like how is it going to happen? What is going to lead to that? So yeah, it makes me interested in another way, um, which I, I will give that. I, there is some interest and intrigue that comes along with that. Um, but yeah, either way, I am very excited to see where this goes, what these uh, last episodes have in store. Um, now, obviously, uh, these are all in separate videos. Like, I, there's a video for episode uh, six, and then one for seven and eight, and then a third video for nine and ten. So, yeah, it's it's kind of kind of be like my One Piece AMVs or AMVs reactions, uh, where it's just like um, I, I react to the first video and then I switch to the second video and so on. So, if you just just for those who haven't necessarily watched my One Piece stuff. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be like that. Um, and it sucks that we're going to be done with it after today, but honestly, um, it's still been a fun ride, and we will still continue on to season two um, eventually. We are going to watch some other stuff in between, obviously, but yeah. And we'll kind of just go from there. Either way, thank you so much for Tuning in, let's just get this going. So when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and then fades back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episodes. So, that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. And we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. I know what it's like to lose someone. When I was in middle school, a friend of mine committed suicide. When I was in high school, my great aunt, who I was very close with, passed away. Less than 10 years ago, my uncle passed away, and only a couple years after that, my grandfather. I, I know what it's like. When we saw Amelia's story, like, it was already emotional. I, I, it really hit after all that. But the final confrontation between Tulip and Amelia. That's... We got a lot of answers, but not all of them. We don't know what the deal with the train is. We don't know where it came from, how it was made, who made it, any of that stuff.
but we found out a lot of information. We found out who the conductor is. Found out her goals. We found out who one one is and who his mother is. We even found out what the numbers mean. And Tulip got home. She made it back and she became a better person because of this experience. But we saw those files. There are a lot of people trapped on this train. And who knows for how long for some of them. There could be others like Amelia who've been there for years and years and years. She was still fairly young when she found the Infinity Train. And now she's, she's older. She's an older woman. She's probably been in there, I would say probably at least two to three decades. Which is insane and heartbreaking. And her numbers gotten so high, it covers more than just her hand. It covers her entire body, pretty much. Because she can't let go. Because she can't accept herself and her life and her situation. We found out a lot of other mysteries too. At the beginning of the, uh, the series, there was that one person we saw lifted out of the train and seemed to be vaporized in midair. We find out that that's just the portal home. Someone was going home. We found out that those roach dog things were created by the conductor using a weapon. We found out that the cat, not a bad person necessarily, just doing what she can to continue on. These episodes I, I think it was a good idea that I reacted to them all together because uh, especially especially um, 7 through 10 because it kind of was like was one big story in a way. And I, I feel like I'm going to need to process this a little more admittedly to truly get my thoughts settled. And by the way, I do want to look up something because I was thinking about it. Uh, um, and I completely forgot to look it up. Um, the voice of that one like uh, corduroy stuffed animal guy. Um, I will say this show is amazing. The depth, the emotion, the darkness. It's just really damn good. And it deserves all the praise that it gets. And honestly, I, I wish it got more. Like, all the praise I see given for it all comes practically from one from one place. And it's just the fandom. It's like there's a there's a very specific fandom for this series. 
but it's like everyone who's not part of that fandom doesn't seem to know it. They just don't seem to know the show. And it's not talked about to what I feel, at least, is a uh, big enough uh, rate. It, it, need, it, it should definitely be talked about more. But it's not. Compared to stuff like Owl House, even. Like, from what I did see of Owl House, mind you, I like Owl House. From what I saw of it. It has a lot of good, positive stuff to it. E even if I dropped it. But it's like... There's also... It's not as good as Infinity Train. Infinity Train is so much better. I I'm sorry, it just is. Sorry, I'm kind of distracted at the moment. I'm trying to find thing. I just feel like this series just isn't given enough focus. That's all I'm saying. Okay, Khaki Bombers, that's the name. And the voice actor is Ron Funches? Funches? I swear I recognized his voice from some... King Shark! He's King Shark in Harley Quinn. That is exactly where I recognized his voice from. It's like the instant I saw it. I, I, I had to look that up. I'm sorry. I got distracted because of that, but I had to look that up. I completely had forgotten, like, between recording. But yeah, that was totally King Shark. Um. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> There is a lot that happened in these final episodes, even though, like, an episode's only 11 minutes long each. But yeah, that, that was the big theme of this. Acceptance of situations. Acceptance of your life and not trying to run away from it, not trying to change it, not trying to ignore it. Bad things happen. Horrible, terrible, tragic things happen. And they always will. And it's fine to be sad about those things. It's, in fact, it's normal. But you can't let them control your life and you can't try to change them. Trying to change that kind of stuff, like, no matter what it's from, like, I've seen all kinds of media where, with people trying to change tragic events and stuff, and it never ends well. You need to accept that bad things do happen, and you just kind of have to roll with it, unfortunately. You have to live the best life you can in spite of those bad things. Be the best person you can. You can't let them just ruin your life for you. So yeah. I, I'm definitely going to have to think over it more, but this could easily enter into my top 10 favorite shows. And obviously we will be getting to season 2 and probably season 3 as well down the line. But like with every show we react to, we are taking a break between seasons. And as I stated in the pre-thoughts, um, we are getting on to season two of Glitch Text next. Um, because even though I'm adoring Infinity Train, it's like Glitch Text has the promise to be not just top 10 for me, but maybe even top five, or even if it gets good enough, top three. It has that much promise to it. And 
honestly, while Infinity Train had some deeply relatable and harsh stuff in it, I think I connect a little better with glitch text just for, on a personal level, I guess, plus on a on an emotional level, it's a lot easier <laughs> to watch. Just, just admittedly. Um, this, this series, Infinity Train, is hard to watch sometimes. <laughs> it, it's, it's so real. It's so harsh. Glitch text is more fun. Um, but yeah, I still love Infinity Train, obviously. But yeah. I definitely gonna have to do some thought on this. But in the meantime, tell me in the comments below what you thought of these final episodes of Infinity Train. Um, and as always, no spoilers. No spoilers for anything regarding the future. I don't want to know anything about where this goes. I want to be like just completely blind on all of season two and season three so yeah thank you so much for tuning in and um real quick let me check this here because i want i want to get this right if i can damn i don't i don't have it listed anymore i didn't think i would oh wait no never mind never mind ignore me i i just i, I made a mistake Ignore me. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> um, either way, ignoring all that. It took me a long time to get to this show, but I'm glad I finally did. The pilot was great, but it could not have prepared me for how the show was going to be overall. Yeah. Thank you so much, and for now, I'm Connie, and I'm signing off. See you all next time.